In this tutorial, we will be discussing the nature of acids and bases in Lewis structures. Lewis acids and bases. So why are some compounds acids and why are some bases? Why do acids and bases vary in strength? Can we predict the variations of acidic and basic behavior? Acid or base strength is measured by determining the equilibrium constant of a substance's reaction with water. For instance, here is an acid reacting with water. Notice that H goes away to produce H3O+. Here is the base reacting with water and it absorbs the hydrogen to form OH-. The farther towards the product the equilibrium position is, the stronger the acid or the base. The position of equilibrium depends on the strength of the attraction between the base form and the H+. The stronger attraction means a stronger base or a weaker acid. The stronger an acid is at donating hydrogen, the weaker the conjugate base is at accepting it. Once that hydrogen goes away, it does not want to come back. So let's take a look at acetic acid and trichloroacetic acid. Look at the Ka's. Acetic acid is times 10 to the negative 5 while the trichloroacetic acid is only point, is way, way, way bigger at point 0.3. Trichloroacetic acid is much stronger acid owing to the high electronegativity of those chlorines. Chlorine draw, withdraws electrons from the rest of the molecule. This makes the OH bond highly polar and the, high, and the hydrogen of the OH is very positive because it's getting pulled away by those other elements. So let's talk about the strings of oxyacids. What is an oxyacid? It is usually a compound formed when a hydrogen adds to a polyatomic ion. The polyatomic anion must have oxygen atoms attached to a central nonmetal atom. So for instance, SO4, SO3, NO3, NO2. The higher the oxidation number, the stronger the oxyacid. The more electronegative also, the, that Y atom, the stronger the acid. Both of these help weaken that OH bond and therefore the hydrogen gets donated easier. The more oxygen is attached to the Y, the stronger the acid. This also further weakens and polarizes that HO bond. Nitrate, carbonate, and phosphate are, are ions, are all bases. As the negative charge increases, the basicity of the substance, the anions that is, increases. As the charge goes up, they interact more strongly with polar water molecules. So let's look at binary acids. Bi means two, so we're talking about acids with only two elements, two atoms in it. The more polarized the bond, so H will be partially positive and that other element will be partially negative, the more acidic the bond. So the more, the more polar this is, which means the more electronegative that X is, the more acidic it is. The stronger the HX bond, the weaker the acid. So if this is a really strong bond, that hydrogen doesn't want to go anywhere, it doesn't want to break. So therefore, it's going to stay attached and become a weaker acid. Binary acid strength increases to the right across the period. So carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine are all increasing electronegativities. Binary acid strength increases down the column. So fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. All right, so we've talked about Arrhenius. We've talked about bronsted lowry Now we're going to talk about Lewis acid-base theory, which is even more general than the other two we've discussed. Lewis acid-base theory focuses on transferring an electron pair, not just a hydrogen atom. So the lone pair becomes a bond, or the bond becomes a lone pair. The electron donor is called a Lewis base. 
this is electron rich, therefore it's called a nucleophile, meaning that it's wanting something positive. It loves things that are positive. Electron acceptor is called a Lewis acid, and it's electron deficient. It's more positive. Doesn't mean it is positive, it's just more partially positive, and therefore electrophile. It loves electrons. Lewis acid is a substance that accepts an electron pair, while Lewis base is a substance that donates an electron pair. New bond formed using electron pair from the Lewis base is referred to as a coordinate covalent bond. So these two electrons are being donated to that hydrogen. The bronsted lowry model focused on the H+, while the Lewis model focuses on the electrons themselves. Lewis acid is a substance that is electron deficient, either from being attached to an electronegative atom or not having a full set or an octet. And they must have empty orbital willing to accept that electron pair. Example is H plus with an empty 1s orbital or B and BF3 with an empty 2p orbital and an incomplete octet. Many small, highly charged metal cations have empty orbitals they can use to accept electrons. Atoms that are attached to highly electronegative atoms and have multiple bonds can be Lewis acids. A Lewis space has electrons and it is willing to give away or to share with another atom. A Lewis space must have a lone pair of electrons on it that it can donate. Anions are better Lewis bases than neutral atoms or molecules. So the fact that it has a 3 minus here makes it a better Lewis base. Generally also the more electronegative an atom, the less willing it is to be a Lewis base. So oxygen is less willing than sulfur because he wants to hold on to his electrons. The formation of a hydronium ion is also an ex excellent example of a Lewis acid and base. The electrons from the hydrogen are getting donated from the oxygen are getting donated to that hydrogen, forming that extra bond there. The electron pair and the new OH bond originated on that Lewis base, which is the water. So what's happening here? The base donates a pair of electrons to the acid. Generally results in a covalent bond forming. So those two electrons here are getting donated to that boron to form that new bond. The product that forms is referred to as an adduct. Arrhenius and Bronsellari acid base reactions are also Lewis base reactions. And then one final example for you. This is the one that we showed earlier, right here. A little bit more of a picture for you. The two electrons make it a Lewis base because it's donating its electrons, being donated to the boron, which is a Lewis acid because it's accepting those electrons to form a new bond, and the whole thing is called an adduct. One more example, we have silver with a positive charge, two NH3 groups, so they have two pairs of electrons there, so one on one side, one on the other, to form Ag NH3 2. And that is your explanation of Lewis acids and bases.